Okay, welcome to today's video. Uh, we're doing a 2023 year recap, and before we get into it, 2023 has been the the year that I've seen. I, like now looking back, I didn't realize this in it while I was in it, but uh, it's been the biggest year of growth for me personally, and I'm very interested to see this. Uh, thank you, Juan, for putting this together. Had a lot of help from Oz to, to help kind of put this. I haven't seen what we're about to watch. We're literally going to watch this year recap video together and react to it. So with no further ado, let's sit back, relax, and let's see what we did. Over the next 10 years, I'm dedicating myself to accomplishing 10 goals. Okay, first terrifying. things first. You notice we skipped January. <laughs> That's because... The 10 year video. So this launched on my 30th birthday. This video was like all through January. This is all that mattered. This video was my comeback to YouTube because at this time, um, I've been MIA from YouTube for a long time. I've really been in like the nitty gritty of Alfleet, really working like harder than I ever had, even over Alphaland like build, um, like more than that time frame to set myself up to finally like actually make a change in my life. And I knew I would have to do that. And so this video, the 10 year video was super important for me just to nail. So that was like January in a recap. Bond, this is more than a letter. This is a contract to myself to hold myself accountable even when it seems impossible. Here's to the past, the present, and the future dope video. If you haven't seen this, you need, like, that's the... This is not how I envisioned this uh, sit-down going. I thought I'd have... Like, oh, God. <laughs> okay, let me, let me talk about this for a second, because after knowing what I just told you, after knowing, like, I just did this nitty-gritty, like, like, fucking grind of a, really, like, of a six months. The last six months of 2022 were really fucking and hard for me. We accomplished a lot of things. We got Alphalete to hundred million. We did just like a bunch of cool things on paper, but at what expense? This is the expense. <laughs> this, this is the expense. And I, I remember so vividly the day I was going to record this, it was really humid outside and I was already friend. I was up all night, like already um, working and in my head I was like I need to get this video out this was my first video back from like after my big 10 year video which was like really amazingly well received this this was like I was gonna give more info on my 10 goals like the world needed that to happen <laughs> yeah I wanted to like go into depth of like of all these things and I what and I it's fine oh, man, what it's Oh, I'm happier in general. <laughs> That's what it says. Okay, I'm happier in general. <laughs> um, That's goal number three. This is gonna be a long ass video. Jesus Christ, I still gotta edit this since I'm, okay. It's like, you always, you, I don't know. This is a man that has put something out into the world who has always lived by the code of like, if you're gonna put something out into the world, you don't put it out there until you fucking, like until you know you're gonna do it. And from, I've always done what I say I'm gonna do. And for me, this video, like getting this video uploaded was one of those things where I said I was going to do, had a lot of pressure to get back into these uploads. And I remember like, man, this is just, this is the burnt out me. I had no help yet. I had no Juan, I had no system yet in person. And this was like, holy shit, I just said I was gonna do a thousand videos and I can't even fucking do one. I was trying to chop this together myself and it was just a mess, man. You already wild. My reels are, not, wild. I'm like, Logan, I ain't gonna open the, that link again till maybe end of March. And I want to say thank you to like, you guys go, go, for like, go, 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 go. At, not, at this point, like, I got no, so many I'm messages awesome. and everything from like, like, like you, comments, working, man, texts like, from it, friends, it's, it's good, uh, it's good. even like Greg Doucette did a video like, I'm and so even in that video, like he was love. right, like and I was not okay, right? Clearly. But the sad thing is guys, this me here, Everyone's in this like level of exhaustion is pretty normal for me at least or something, you know, over the last few years. So I'm not sure to say this point. Yeah. These are these comments. So it's like you guys have, you guys have 
my best interest at heart. And I fucking know that. And this video really kind of woke me up because as I was editing, I was like, Oh my gosh, this is like not it. But I was just so exhausted. I was like, it's either push through and get this done in my head. And that overpowered the common sense thing, which I should have realized of like, damn, but, uh, th- I need to just rest and try to redo this. Number one, I'm human. Sometimes I take on way too much. That's the truth. But at the end of the day, my 10 goals are my 10 goals. And I think that it's just important to remind myself and hopefully you guys remind yourselves that everything is one day at a time. Everything is like, I'm a big proponent of focusing on the big three in a single day. What are the three things big picture? And here's the thing, like here you can, this is like three days later. It's like, but maybe this is why it's dangerous for me to have so much on my plate and to put myself in this position. Cause I can, I'm aware, I'm like self-aware in the moments where I'm pushing ridiculously too hard. But to me, that big push in 2022 and like getting Juan to move from Florida to Houston full time, become my media manager, get a rhythm. Like that was all stuff I like, those are the tasks that getting Herbie in, getting Kevin in, getting Melissa in, getting all my managers in. That was getting Nick in, my the Alphaland GM. Like all those things I had to get done. Um, and like these that cra- that red sweater video is like the effect of that's a good example of what I was like during those like prime exhaustion phases, which okay. were like once a week. And I think that that's going to be yeah. that is the way you know I'm going to approach this entire. Thing. You can tell when my eyes are like. Thank you like guys this? so much for keeping. I'm, an I'm eye just out. thinking about way too much shit. Uh, you know, it really meant a lot to have like a not tearing to shreds comment section, but just like a genuinely like looking out to have my back, kind of uh, you know feeling looking through everything. So I appreciate that. Oh, her birthday. We have a whole day planned. We have wow. three things we're going to do. This is at the very beginning of prep, bro. It's like, hey, I, so I started prep like a day or two beforehand. And I remember this was day one or day two. And I was like, well, we're getting fucked up. It's your birthday. Let's go. <laughs> got so drunk. Like literally that day we got we, we had a whole had a whole picnic plan for her. A whole ass picnic downtown. We got so drunk, bro. We ended up at some. It was like three o'clock on a Tuesday, some random bar drinking, making friends with like these locals by the Astros baseball stadium. And then like we try to go to the park so I could do the picnic, but I was, we were too drunk to find it. So, so, <laughs> so we just like walked around super drunk in the middle of the day, all through Houston. And that was, uh, that was her birthday. And it was a great time. Okay, next little thing. I ran away from Houston, went to California. Ashley Flores, one of our main official athlete athletes that represents the brand. And more importantly, this trip is where I feel like I really got to connect with Ashley like at a different level. Kirby, Justin, and I went to California, and she was the very first um, athlete highlight video we did this year with her. We did like a LDB three part series, learn more, dream more, be more, uh, where we like focus on her story. We also did Rob. So she was the first of this new series we were doing. So, uh, that was really cool to do. California was like super posh and super bougie. I, I remember my favorite memory from being in California on the Ashley trip was she was driving us up to Laguna beach and Kirby was in the front seat with Ashley. Justin and I were in the back seat and Florida Georgia line came or sorry, Morgan Wallen came on and uh, we all just start us three started belting out like me, Kirby and Justin, like the song. And she just had like no idea what we were singing. And, but to me, that was like the California sun coming down, Morgan Wallen on the radio, like really good people in the car. And I was just like, man, this is a fucking moment, you know? And uh, Justin was like, man, I'm going to remember this moment for the rest of my life. And I'm like, man, me too. So that was a cool one. And uh, Ashley took us to dinner at the super good Mexican restaurant that night. Um, and yeah, it was really awesome. So then, man, we are here fresh and fit. Himself, man, I got Ooh, so much. I got so much. Tour. Yes. Yes. So much Yo, shit. Listen, bro. For, but here's the thing. I only got so much shit until before the podcast released. Why are you accepting to do that? Why are you, why are you, why are you going to, why are you okay with being on that? Why are you support? It's like, wait until you hear me speak.
Wait until you hear my answers to the questions I'm being asked. Don't ever think you can limit, like, like think, judge me and my answers. To, I can handle myself. I can handle these fucking questions. I can handle my, my opinion perfectly well. Thank you very fucking much. If I fuck up, that's all going to be on me. If I say some, if I, you're right, but I ain't fucking scared of that because I know the truth and I'm going to speak the truth of what I believe. So I could get you interviewed by anyone and I'm not worried, period. So, and then after the podcast release, everybody that was worried was like, or like, oh, talking shit up, like, quote, it's like, I would love to hear what you have, what the problem is here, (laughs) but after you listen to it, so in tampa florida tampa florida a new friend oh, okay tampa i'm like what the fuck was in tampa <laughs> jesus christ okay all right tampa uh very first ssc so this year i launched a bodybuilding league holy shit wow okay so this year we went from doing the summer shredding bodybuilding show to launching the summer shredding community, the SSC, a bodybuilding league, uh, the actual like a tiered structured system where we have multiple shows a year around the world. The top of each class are going to qualify and get the opportunity to come compete at the championship at the end of the year in Houston and win. Uh, we gave about 130,000 cash like that. We gave out two, the two champions won full athlete sponsorships are going to be introduced in the next few weeks with the brand and yeah, they got a whole laptop, camera set up, whole deal. And we had a super successful first year as a federation, as a league. And uh, Tampa kicked it all off. So not only was, you know, I'm sure you'll see some shredding in this, but Maybe got to work out with Derek Lunsford, who ended up, I like had, man, look at his 2022 versus him in 2023 on stage. He blew his physique out the fucking water. And yeah, we were just like, so when I worked out with Derek, uh, the now 2023 uh, three Mr. Olympia, like, I worked out with two Mr. Olympias. The, the, okay, I'm gonna say the one thing I remember from this day. <laughs> I remember fucking Derek putting like four, what was I doing, four plates? He put like four fucking plates on that thing was I spotting him? I think I spotted him on a set and I couldn't fucking lift the goddamn, I couldn't help the weight. <laughs> Me and my Fitbit, bro. <laughs> like Alex was keeping, Alex was keeping up with him on the inclined hammer, but bro, when, I, when I've never fucking felt that much weight, like try, like it was a lot of weight. Like when I had to push it and, and when he was going, I was trying to spot him, I couldn't lift it. So like I was not a good spot. From what you've done, you're turning, bro. You wanna... And on those dips, he just kept fucking going, bro. I was like, oh my god, I I need to do at least like, yeah, training with that caliber of at, oh, looking and pausing at C bum, of course. Bodybuilding <laughs> <laughs> world would consider you the first YouTuber vlogger, right? Yeah, would really? you not be? You I mean, when, when who who else? You're like the. I, I, I really appreciate that, but there's no way I can take credit for that. Like, he just, Derek said, like, you're like the YouTube, like, to me, you have Matt Ogus, you have Chris Jones, you have Scooby, you have Scott Herman, you have Nick Wright, you have those, those are right there, the Hodge twins. Hodge twins, like, they, I was already moving when they were moving, but like, those were the biggest ones for me. Um, like Matt Ogus and Chris Jones specifically were like the ones I really connected with. Cause they actually like uh, Matt kind of first let you into his personal life more, um, than any other like person was doing on YouTube. And I thought those were the, and I, I mean, I love the training clips. So I really like the personal clips that he had. So I, and then Chris Jones kind of incorporated more personal stuff. Chris Jones then invited me out to collab with him, uh, which like completely changed my fucking life complete like complete trajectory everything just changed that day um so i owe so much to chris like there's a lot of inspiration and greg plitt of course he was doing it too um but that was a kind of different guy but um steve cook you know a lot of these guys were like there you know what i mean and uh even ziz shit (laughs) right yeah like and so um but i really appreciate like those words from the mr olympia is it's insane Kind of the guy that the path on on social media, yeah. and we all go, oh, look what this guy did. Yeah. 
you know? And I did do it. Like <laughs> you wanna guess how many years till he turns pro? On camera. <laughs> I'll put, I'll put the cap. You're a freak. <laughs> Jacob, Kayla, Ryan. How many years did Chris say? You remember? He said three. What? Oh, damn. Wow, this is all Tampa. We're down with Sebum. We had the first summer shredding which is super successful. What's going on guys? Welcome to today's episode. We are currently 107 days out from getting on stage in our first pro card attempt. We're currently also, it's crazy that like, the word like pro card, it just hasn't been in my vocabulary in like the last like three, four months. Like <laughs> it's, I'm the type of guy, like when I'm really focused on something, I go fucking all out on a goddamn goal. Like I'm gonna laser focus on something. And so like for me to announce a prep after like with, with this new goal of like, this is, this was a very, very big focus for me. And just to see like the, I'm, I'm fucking proud, I'm happy and I'm, I'm proud of myself for being the type of person that when I begin something, there ain't fucking nothing. Like this is what fucking this show was what mattered. This show and getting videos up every other day is what mattered. That's all that mattered. Like clear the fucking schedule because this is what matters. And so I feel I have a hunch that throughout this video you're gonna see that fucking dog in me, right? Which now, right? Like right now, it's 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 just it's very different. But in Tampa, because this weekend. See. It's only Thursday. On Saturday, we have our first ever bodybuilding competition for the SSC, the Summer Shredding Community. Today, we're gonna go train with one of the best and most legendary, most like, never mind. You'll have to wait and see. And I'm hoping we meet some- Batista! <laughs> Literally my favorite like, actor, um, wrestler- My hair look good here. In history. Metaphor. There's a chance we might so do So sit back, relax. Bro, you should have used a clip of him fucking like slamming down like Triple H or some shit. <laughs> Reverse, bro. This is pretty nice. I trained at Batista's house. Go. With Rough Diesel. Damn, the dude has some cool ass decor, furniture. The whole house feels like a medieval, like actual vibe. Like, it's so dope. Legend, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, real legend here? Like Hypertrophy like coach. Like, all of his last bunch of roles, everybody wants him small. Joe Bennett, the man. Literally, when he, okay, he opened the door, I remember showing up to the Batista's house, and he wasn't there, by the way. I think I said that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, fanboy. <laughs> but I opened the door, and I had no idea that the hypertrophy coach was gonna be there, I, I, like at all. And I'm such a huge fan, like, I've been following him for years. So he opens the door having no idea who I am, like zero clue who I am. And I was like, oh, oh, the, the hyper, hypertrophy coach, hey, I'm, I'm Christian, he's, I've been a fan for years, man. Holy shit, wasn't expecting to see you. And, and he's like, oh, yeah, um, I, I think I'm, tra I'm training you today with uh, Terrence, huh? I'm like, yes, you are. I'm here, for, I'm here to work. <laughs> and it was like, the I, I think I asked, I asked so many questions that day to him, like so many, like all the intricate questions I had, like bundling up in my brain about all my weaknesses in my training. I like waited to the very last minute till like we were done with the workout to be like, oh, you mind, do, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> but yeah, but, but he appreciated that I really like, I'm a fucking nerd. Even like I was complimenting the plate because he, fun fact, the hypertrophy coach designed with, I'm sure with Batista, with Dave, but he, they designed it together. So all those pieces that you see in there and that Dave has in his house are like specifically selected by the, the hypertrophy, like for a reason, like the brand, the name, the mechanics of it, how fluid. And like, I'm such a nerd with all that stuff. So I really appreciate someone else who's also like that into it. Cause you, there is a fucking difference in a lot of these things. So it was just awesome to have those kind of talks. Um, with someone like that. And we even talked about like him doing some seminars, like at, you know, summer shredding events and stuff like that, which I think would be so dope. So yeah, some new relationships were formed that day. And Terrence is awesome. Your little edit one. 
<laughs> okay, Tampa. This is the very first first Alpha Elite booth that you just saw there at the first SSC event. It was damn scary hosting a bodybuilding show, not in Houston. Like, this is the very first one we had n done not in our normal. Too far we see. Oh my God, vertigo. Oh my. Worst, worst to me. Four days straight. Yesterday in the pop up, Disney just came back. So at least I finished the fucking show. Finished the show, finished the, the meetup and the event, the Q&A. I remember feeling it at the Q&A when I was doing the Q&A. And then the next day we had a uh, Alfleet shoot. And I remember like Chris and Courtney came and I was like, I was too fucking dizzy. I couldn't even get out of the bed, bro. I was too dizzy to even go say hi to anybody. So I was, that was, and then at the airport, I was like, Heidi, I, I didn't think they were gonna let me on the flight because Heidi would have to walk in front of me. And I was so not okay that I would have to, I would grab on her backpack in the center like on the handle and I would just like literally put my head down. I had a hat on and I, and I was just like, and I would just like let her lead me and just like, I was and it was the most miserable time of my life. This vertigo stuff never had it. And, but the first time I got it, it was four days straight. And like, I, there was two days where I, like I was crawling up the fucking stairs cause Heidi was out of town and no one was, it was just like miserable here. But then there in Florida, it came back even worse. Luckily I haven't had it since. But Jesus, I would pay some real money for that not to come back again, bro. <laughs> like, my God. Nope. Damn, I look, I look like this leanness right now. It's pretty good. I'm proud to announce we are finally launching the Christian Music Line this <laughs> that we need to get more active on. Summer show, the SSC, the bodybuilding league that we started this year. We just had our first show in Tampa and we were intended okay. to have our next show in June. This is super in interesting UK. because- This is our first time ever going overseas for- I don't wanna keep talking about that Red Hoodie video, but, we that, have but like, can I keep talking while this plays or should I pause it? Like, no All right, so let me pause it. So right here, I'm canceling. I ha we had to cancel the UK summer shredding. I had a UK show planned for June and this is the, the summer shredding was the biggest, like to me, that red hoodie video, though I've been like battling fucking pushing myself this hard, like in being public with it. I like, I've, I've been really good at not being public with how hard I push myself. If I'm being frank, I, I will beat myself to the fucking ground and I don't, I don't give a fuck. Like I, if it's going to be better for the, this, out like my mentality in my twenties, it's like them first, me second, no matter what I don't, yeah, whatever it is. Right. And I really took that to the extreme, but the biggest pressure for me to get that video up the red hoodie video. And the reason I, I, I did post it was because I, I, all the deadlines for summer shredding to hype up, we had to sell the fucking tickets, bro. We like, it was, that wasn't until like, like end of Feb, March. Like I'm trying to get this information out about I'm launching a bodybuilding league. The first shows in eight weeks. Like, think about that, that's, that's why, like, I had to get the information about, about some sure. And I had to like, I had just to speak. That's was not the way to execute it, but that's all I could do. I had no media team. I didn't have help. I didn't have, I, I like Kirby had just came back on full time, like for Alphalete. And that was its own thing. Now I'm trying to make my YouTube channel be a priority when Alphalete need, still needs all this babying, like, bro. So that was a lot of fucking, and we just had this hundred million dollar year. I have a lot of fucking responsibility with this next year. Right. And it's not like I can just go away on oh, focusing on videos now. Like, no, it's still my fucking responsibility. So the, so that's because we, like we were, we had like 20 ticket sales for the UK No, sorry, the competitors. We only had like 20 people signed up. May, no, not even 20. I think it was like, I want to say we only had like, Bro, I think we only had like nine or 10 at the time where I, I launched the red hoodie video. Cause I was like, if we don't hit fucking, and I think I put the limit at 50 or 55. If we don't get 50, but I really believed if I get the info out, I'm launching SSC, it's a bodybuilding league. You need information about it. If I can get that info out, I can get the ticket sales up. So I don't have to cancel a summer shredding show. How big of a loser will I look like? Uh, to the public? If the first year I launch a bodybuilding league, I have to cancel. Cause I just said, I can do this big world thing. And then that like, that was the one goal out of the 10 I'm launching this bodybuilding that like that had to happen right there. And so again, I don't regret anything that I've done um, or any like position I put myself in. 
I wish I would have, I don't know, but that's why. Way around it, we simply did not have enough competitors <laughs> sign up for the UK no, no event. Stress. Six years ago is the last time we were here. God, it's time. And I'm traveling <laughs> non fucking stop. Uh, Bro. Yeah, four cities so far. Literally not knowing if anybody was in on prepping. You know, hopefully some people will come, but literally, like, you know what? Cut to the clip. Look at that shit, bro. Also I'll do it again. Fuck. The Beal's back. The boys are back in town. And, okay, but let me give you the real. Let me give you the real. Because this is the point. I had just hired Juan, right? And Juan and I had been working because he worked with Alex a lot. He was in Florida, but we were working remote. He kind of come in and we do a few videos, go back. And we, we it went from that, doing Alphalete Reels contract and stuff like that. We work on that to... I go, bro, I need, I need, I need the fuck. I need help. I need you here. I, like that's the only way we can really truly move forward and it has to happen now. Right. And he has family. <laughs> right. And so that was a lot to do that. And obviously like while Nabil's sorting his visa stuff and everything, like I wanted to be, but I was really scared because Finally getting to see Nabil do your, uh, a whole European tour. I think I was going to be there for like three weeks or something, like 10 episodes we were going to do together, me and Nabil. But Juan is technically, man, he's in charge of the media, right? So Nabil would be like going through revisions or anything, communicating via Juan. And we're not used to that. Like me and Nabil aren't used to that workload, right? That workflow. We're used to just like me and him, blah, 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 you know, back forward, back forward, and just like uploading. But whenever you make the decision to structure in and for me i had to for the bet for my fucking health like to do that like there's gonna be oh like and you know feelings and there's gonna be just we we all had to get on the same page and for me like in the day i remember like when i saw him be like oh fucking so happy to see him and there's okay first thing we have to talk about is is introducing juan and yeah, so we we us three jumped on the FaceTime and it was it was it was scary for me because I know like summer shredding is like our baby right. You know? It's like me it's, it's since 2017 we've been just doing it ourselves and so now like introducing a third character like how is this dynamic gonna work? And luckily we were able to fucking make it work. Uh, it definitely had it would have its hiccups like any fucking thing, but really found a flow. And Europe was like hasn't been in it. magical. Mr. Rob. The most positive energy that you will ever feel in your life is when you're around Rob Lipset, and he was fucking peeled. This is the confidence I need three days out. Let's go! Yo, you look crazy. Like, he just wait for the hoodie. To come he on. almost went. I felt like the fibers in the in the in the rhomboids, bro. <laughs> Alex is here. Two days, bro. Two days. Oh my out. god, You're Dublin, and then right. two hours out. Yeah. God, we didn't even film. It, it was Greece. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I would do through Alex's bachelor party. We were on a boat again. Drank. <laughs> just like misses. Literally. This. What happened in May? I just missed that. Oh, May. May was Greece. May was Greece. Now, the raw Christian used mine. Literally this, and I'm going to bring it back. This I went back to Florida. It reminded me like how nice it is. Just like being oh, like, wow. Okay, so I went to Florida a lot. We're going to make some, some cool shit and like other angles and video and edits and songs, but like we don't need that all, all the time. Like this channel was started with this. So here, essentially, that clip was me like... It's, it, it's funny because... Yeah, that, that was the foreshadowing to this big move that I decided to end my YouTube channel with a million subscribers or 999,000 Jesus and restart this channel, a new channel with like completely fresh after 11, 12 years. I, I I've been wanting to go back to this raw style for I ha like in my head. It's just like, that is what it's always been. But if I'm not holding the camera, I can feel a little different sometimes. Right. And I act different when I'm with my, by myself and with the lens with you guys and when there's other people around, of course, um, naturally, but this is the trip that really, I went to do this, uh, raw, um, podcast or not podcast interview thing with Chris, Dom, Matt Jansen. But then so you don't have a launching troll. 
the rap car has no, you don't have a built-in launch control. You don't have a launch control. I do have a launch <laughs> Me talking shit about his, 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 the new Raptor R, I'm like, bro, I'll fucking smoke your ass from a TRX. That's good. All right. Beta Alanine. Oh, <laughs> bro, what the fuck are you doing? I think we're going snowboarding if you You're like, yeah. Beta Alanine. Oh, what's it feel like having a pro car, bro? Olivia. There you go. Vaughn's treats. When thinking of, pre-thinking of the title. And thumb okay, I'm starting to get lean here. See, uh, you can, this is the first clip. I'm like, oh, I'm dieting. Um, oh, and I have my new watch on. <laughs> mm, I'm, bro, been, this is the year of sickness for me. 2023 was the year of growth and the year of sickness. Um, probably from the prep, <laughs> to be honest. But um, one thing I want to, I need to say about Chris and that trip uh, to Florida is that that trip ended up being the most, it had the most impact personally for me this year. Um, I talked about Chris and I talked about, I did a whole video where I talked about this trip in depth and everything, but to put it in short, Heidi and I were going through a lot, some issues and everything and problems. And, uh, at that point we, we, I really just like, we, I needed some space and this is space that I needed as me as a human because of everything I've got going on and all the people that depend on me and the lack of kind of like, I, you know, I, I talked about on my YouTube channel at, around this time as well. I was vlogging about like making the house feel like a home, right? I was really talking about like feeling like there's just nowhere for like us to like, like feel like normal people really. And really that, that Florida trip, that was one where like Juan didn't go with me. Nobody went with me. Um, it was just me and it planned, I planned on just doing that Q and a and then coming back home, like back to the madness. Uh, and instead, uh, Calvin, Chris, they, they, they kind of offered to, yeah, why don't you come? Yeah, we got nothing. Just come train, come hang out. And, uh, so I got an Airbnb, like a little hotel thing. And that ended up being like a two week trip from there, 10 days, 12 days, something like that. And like, that was a lot of Chris is like leveled up. He's, he's, a, he's very, very, very mature, very self-aware. Um, and Courtney as well. And Calvin, all three of them. So like, they really like, I was able to talk to them and they were able to like it, to really just open me up to the ideas of starting to go to therapy, starting to like really like work on my, like my mental, right. And treat it. Chris told me, I'm just going to be fucking real open with this. There's one sentence that Chris Bum said, told me that changed my life. And, and I don't know if he knows this, but it was when I was sitting on the couch or sorry, he was sitting on the couch in my Thing, my Airbnb hotel. I was getting all packed up. Uh, he, he actually gave me his Mr. Olympia backpack because I, I was using a trash bag and because I didn't have any. <laughs> and so he, I have Chris Brumstead's like backpack. <laughs> and uh, and he said, you know what? I'm like, what? He goes, I think if you think if you just think of your relationship and the work you're going to put into it and and think of like because I was going back home. Okay, now it's time to have the talk with Heidi. You like, we're and you figure this shit out, right? He's like, bro, just, just treat it like you do your business. Like if you don't get better profit margin, if you're not enhancing that, if you're not creating a better, if you're not delegating and doing your whole like work structure, cause I spent that week kind of just, you know, helping where I could just giving tips on some business stuff. And he's like, I spent a lot of time talking about that. And he's like, if you put that same passion that you've got into that relate, you have to think of it like that every single day, every single day, you have to think of it like that. And when he told me that it fucking clicked, bro, it just clicked. And I was like, I get it. Yeah. Like I understand now. And like, I don't know why it, it just had to be put into those words. Right. And, uh, it was very like, I like that, that, that really, really kind of changed a lot of the whole year for me, um, to be honest. But Moving on, I had the full intention of by the end of the vlog. This I had already bought sure Heidi's that. ring, and so you know why I bought this watch. <laughs> you know why I bought this watch? I bought me the Daytona. It's got a brown face, light blue dial. It's a fucking beautiful watch, beautiful piece. Uh, but I bought it because after buying Heidi's ring, I was like, "Fuck, I kind of want, want something." <laughs> But she didn't know. And then Matt Como was coming because Matt Como's filming the video for her. This like huge video dropping next month. And so I, I was like, bro, I'm going to marry her. Like, I got the ring. Like, right? And so he was, yeah. And so I told him. So this, 
I guess we're going to have to see, I haven't even seen her video, but he had to re go to the whole drawing board <laughs> because he's like, and, and, and so, but he couldn't talk to Heidi about it until after I proposed. So after he filmed and after he proposed, he was like, he asked her, do I need to incorporate this? Cause he's covering like her whole life. <laughs> and then, so now he's, it's, he's been editing for like months, bro. That video is gonna be amazing when it drops, but and yeah, I fucking love it. We read it at home last year. We, you know, got it's another guy that changed my life, the, man. You know, the whole stuff to make it like custom and uh, settle in and make it ours. What am I talking yeah, after, about? Um, you know, the newness of our renovations. Now you can kind of feel this whole like slide. era, the summer, we just kind of start letting I feel like the reason, honestly, the, you know, the reason I had been traveling so much at this point, and I was, I, I think I was out of, during my prep, I was probably out maybe 65, 70% traveling of the time. But I think a lot of it was internally because I, I was working on shit personally and I was looking for an out. And I think I felt that not just relation, not relationship only, but like a lot of work stuff too. Like when I make myself accessible at home, I'm accessible as fuck. And a lot of times it's, I can't, I shouldn't ever feel like my home is somewhere I can't go and escape, but that's how it, I was burnt in that sense. It's just literally getting older, becoming more mature. And here I'm leveling. You can see the level. Like this is where I'm really starting to think. I'm trying to tell you that I'm trying to level. I'm, I'm elevating up without letting you in my personal life. That's the thing. I didn't want to tell anybody that Heidi and I are, you know, of course. And, and this is something we spoke about already after everything. And um, now we, you know, we're clear to talk about it if we want. But uh, at the time, like one thing, guys, I don't care if you're if you're a guy, if you're a woman, if don't ever talk. If you're with somebody in a relationship and you are in a, it's a serious relationship. Don't ever talk badly or don't talk shit. Don't gossip about that person to, to just be, be careful who you do that with. Cause it, you really shouldn't fucking do it with anyone. Cause if you do it with anyone, that person that you're really close with will forever like t taint that, that person in, in their head that in that relationship will never be the same. It, it, and when that relationship's the same, it really just, it, it's so keep it to yourself and talk internally with your partner about things before you like just go and talk to your friends about it before you like, cause your friend's going to have your back and like a, you're not a lot of times in a clear state when you're telling friends, those kind of things. So, um, yeah, I, Jeremy Buendia shows me how to pose. Okay. So now we're getting kind of close to show and, uh, I've been talking to Jeremy so you're, you're up here. Push this hip off. Kind of sinking. Do it. A little more. No, I'm not sure. Your back is good. Turn around the back. Jeremy, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. thinking about that trip. Thinking about what I what I can say. <laughs> it's it's not a matter. It's not. It's not always a matter of like what I can say and what I can't say, but it, a lot of times it's a matter of who's affected by what I'm talking about. And like, are, you know, it's just a whole thing you have to kind of think about, but um, I'm pretty sure he'll be cool with me saying this, but I've been very interested in getting Jeremy Buendia for Alphalete for um, really, really like when he announced his comeback and kind of seeing for myself, like how much he's, how much work he's put into developing, growing, how much he's like, how he holds himself so much differently. And when he came down here, um, this was again, like before we talked any number, anything, anything like that, like I just wanted to be sure we could like work out and kind of hang out and like chat, uh, just as people. Right. And, and before kind of talking like anything like that, and it ended up not lining up and like, he has an amazing opportunity. He's loyal to like, and that's so respectable. That's the thing. And I think the fact that like Jeremy and I were able to have those like mature conversations as people and then like professionally speaking right and then have like the respect to though thing like the this isn't going to like time up and it's not going to be possible i hope that whatever i open this up if i opened up anything here your eyes to anything here i hope you can like make that and use it to your benefit and like and like you're fucking like you're, you, we see it in you, bro. Like you're worth a lot, right? Like, you, and so hopefully that is, just makes his other sponsorships like that much better moving forward. Right. And like, 
honestly, he, we're texting Merry Christmas, like, you know, happy Thanksgiving. I'm sending like, we're getting really close. And, uh, I think when you're just honest with people, man, it's, it's in straight up, it's the best you can be. And Jeremy's like a, I feel like a newly added close friend of mine. Like I, he's invited to the wedding, bro. And Chris, <laughs> you know? Like imagine if you're hitting your front pose like this, your feet are off. And he's got a decent physique. Or like this, or it's, yeah. you're hitting your back pose, your feet are like this. Or... The gym that stole my heart. That must have been quick, baby. Five weeks out, <laughs> right? two pounds. No. It's not a low weigh-in, but that's pretty damn Oh! Cool. Yeah. My weights are extremely consistent right now, which is the number one thing I'm trying to just be sure I'm doing. Danny Haggerty, my first ever coach. Same. Skin great, skin looks great, everything. Went to go visit, Met so this whole trip, we went to San Marcos, Texas, which is where I went to school. Um, at first I went to TCU in Fort Worth, and then I had transferred, because I was there for kinesiology, but then I transferred to Texas State in San Marcos, Texas, um, because they had a health and fitness management category. Um, so I wanted to start studying that instead of kinesiology. Because it sounded more businessy to me, health and fitness management, okay, cool. Like. And I, was, I didn't really like TCU. I didn't like the people there that much. Love the school, but I didn't really like the people. Um, so Texas State, I, my friend from TCU, Joey, uh, who's coming to my wedding as well, and Garrett, uh, they were like leaving. And so, it would, yeah, they came and we all like group. We were like, yeah, fuck this place. Let's move to Texas State. And so we did that. And uh, yeah, so I wanted to show support to the coach that kind of like let me start filming and let me film in his gym and like, you know, treated me fucking real, you know, got mad at me for fitting ice cream in my macros, like everything, you know, like it, it's <laughs> like, he was, I think nowadays it can be very, very difficult for me to have real, genuine, hard, not relationships with people, you know, no one wants to say no to me. Danny says, no, fuck you, don't do that. You know, and you need those people, man. Jesse, James. Oh, no, this is not Jesse James. This is Jerome Kern. This was a fucking dope day. Not been spoon-fed, right? They just have a dream, have a vision, and make it happen. That's really impressive, and I've seen that in one year from younger groups than I've seen in a long time. And this is not an easy environment, you know, with the political stuff, COVID, all this other thing this year's for someone to come out. This year's and be successful. Whether it's energy drinks, right whatever it is, it's pretty impressive. So just hearing this right here taken away in the last from the founder of Massage and the Orange like, Theory, this guy's got, and that's just like some of the, like he's, this dude's portfolio is insane. Whole Foods, oh, and this guy designed, like this, the guy next to him is like the Whole Foods, he made the Whole Foods right by my house. And I'm gonna fucking say it. And I, I'm sure you got it that day too, but you guys need to start thinking long term. You have to start understanding the power of investing time for future, future, like all the only, when you take everything away, the fucking money, this is a blah, blah, blah. All you have left is the relationships with the people that you fucking do business, like you can do business with. Good fucking people. It doesn't even matter. You just want to be associated with good people. And when you do that, it leads you down this path of like these and all of a sudden you, you kind of are in the same room as the guy that did this, the guy that did this, this guy's doing this, this guy's got this $300 million brand. And this is connected to this, which is a billion dollar brand. It's like all of a sudden my name's in the middle of this shit <laughs> and we're, and we're talking, you know, if you want to do a thousand locations, five, why, why only 10? Why not 5,000? Why not? The, why? And it's just like, this is the fucking power of, not networking, fuck networking. You're the power of focusing in and, and just staying in your lane for as long as you can. Don't let the distractions, when they come, you have to be able to stay tunnel, tunnel vision. You have to be able to stay focused on the thing that is bringing you the success. For me, I, I, I gotta admit, like over my 12 year career on YouTube, there's been times where those that YouTube, which gave me 
everything, every, to open every single door for me, right? There's been times where I would stray away or I would, I would leave because, you know, I'm, well, now business is this or this is the most important thing, but it's important to always know where your root is because when, when you always let that ground you, and like th that is your thing. That's your specialty is like doing this thing. Making for me is making these fitness vlogs, right? Doing that thing, connecting with people. Like if I focus on that, everything else falls into place. So when you can just focus on that and then like, the, if you just do that, the success will come. If you work on that, but you get distracted by this, 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 you're not going to get as high and as and you won't reach the success that the person that just fucking stayed really fucking honed in at what they're doing. So based on their vision, dream, little luck, right? But it's hard work. Good time. We're like a yeah. fucking B, B, big Bs, you know, not, not M's. People that are, you know, in their 30s and worked away. And by time also, they're fun fact, they've got like an empire built. But you take I was really drunk on his boat with Nabil um, last year. Starting their vision that early. And most people know what the hell they're doing. And to follow through with it. It's, it's unbelievable, yeah. very impressive. <laughs> Today's video is going to be dedicated to Joe from just oh, oh, fuck. Uh, woke up this morning to the news. I, I think about Joe aesthetics like probably four times a week, still. YouTuber, fitness YouTuber, came on the scene a few years now ago. Now it's gonna be like uh, seven times a week. He gained crazy traction. Rest in peace, uh, Joe. Joe, if I have one thing to say to you and your family. Oh God, didn't he text me? What did he, did he, te what did he DM me? He was at, he saw the red hoodie video. Oh my gosh, bro. Uh, he, so he saw the red hoodie video. Keep in mind, I've never met this guy. Never met him. I'm probably gonna cry, but never met him. Been like commenting, DMing kind of back and forth a little bit. Um, and one of those dudes you can just tell from his energy and from his video, from his like demeanor, like really good energy guy. Uh, and yeah, fuck. And he was checking in on me to see if, you know, if, if I was good and if, if, if I was just getting my blood work um, because he saw I clearly wasn't doing okay. That's the kind of guy he was. And we were, he was going to come to Alphaland like literally like that week, I think, uh, to train with me and stuff. And then he passed. Yeah. It's fucking wild. Um, yeah. See you, man. Rest in peace, Joe. You, you left something really impactful behind. Was he 30? Yeah. I think he was 30. Enjoy the video. Oliver, James. If you could give us one tip, because me and James have a clothing business as well, right? Yeah. We're, we only like new started. Right? We're in the beginning stage. You're year two. If y'all are down after this workout, we'll literally, I want to go in the conference room, whiteboard. It's starting to look pretty good here. I want, like, I want to do something helpful for y'all. That's like the whole, the whole, my whole video today is going to be like, because I knew you guys own the business, yeah. right? Yeah. So I want you to ask me all these things. I want to fucking help you out on the video. Showing, showing two young fucks how to be successful. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this is my first time meeting Oliver. And like from the short times I got to, um, got to, you know, hang out with him, really awesome dude. But James, I've known for like a longer time and we have like more history. And, uh, I, I consider like, I'm really close with James, I would say. And, uh, he's very open with me and I'm open with him. And, uh, God, I'm still thinking about Joe, man, but, um, I forgot where I was going with that. That yeah, was a cool workout. I don't know. As soon as possible. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah, helping with her brand. Oh gosh, um, I have so many babies to play yeah. with. I'm so excited. And I love helping. Like, God, it's fucking like sad, man. Yeah. That means no, it's mo videos, yeah. mo content. Bro, your hair looks high way better longer. Come in the clip from here. Yeah, stuff. don't do that haircut. And your face, you lost some weight, bro. Look how much better Juan looks. <laughs> and I and I fucking love you for moving over here, man. <laughs> That was uh, the first few months of getting in the groove, huh? <laughs> friends want friends. Okay, to Max's win. space. Uh, Max friends had just left. Loved ones to succeed at all costs. It's like yeah, Max had just left. I'm gonna let this play. I'm gonna stop pausing it so much. Um, and, and, and so he had just moved out of the space, doing. and I had taken this over. This is now as currently friend, getting renovated like, as we speak. Like, um, to be, we're taking his whole space and doing half of it for. 
offices for Alpha Land, like trainers, management, um, and then half of it is going to be for myself, Juan, Harry, like our little Guzman Media kind of area. Okay, physique starting to look pretty sick. If I were to guess, I'm like four weeks out here, three weeks out, three weeks out. One eighty-two. That's mm, yeah. That's that's a dope shot. Why right, we should use that every time we go to the office? Really quick shout out to the Juanster over here. The Juanster He's headed out in the Uber, but um, we just finished filming the last video that you watched, which is the reaction to Max's video. Okay, and essentially, Juan committing and saying yes full time really is. Amazing. Gonna change my life. Yeah. Um, essentially. When Greg Plitt me. died, that shit Next. rocked me. What I said, already said yeah. I was gonna do and promised I was gonna do and become the nice me and shit. He's gonna mm -hmm. help facilitate. He's gonna be the main facilitator for all that. So shout out to Juan. Shout out to Juan. 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 Wait, I say it right. How do you say Juan? <laughs> Juan. 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 <laughs> a garage sale. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, the parking lot's fucking full. Look, wow. What the hell? So that summer shredding banner, we leveled it up so much the next summer shredding. It looks so much better than the, than the, the finale. But uh, this was like five in the morning Look or something. That. It was really early. That's sick. I did not think people were going to show up. Because last oh, and there was a Saturday, massive line for the sample. It was like... Saturday we opened the day. Oh, it was eight, seven something really in the morning. Awesome. My bad. They expect all that. Right? No, that's not It was five? Yeah. It went fucking that early in the morning. Crazy line for the sample sale. Um, these are all just products that we, via development in our sample rooms and stuff, um, accumulate over the year. But we only put stuff that First time in the vlog? is not like a future product. Right? Where are you from? Up California. When did you move here? Harry? Uh, He's been here that January. long? Decided to pack things in my car, bring my car I'm just going to tell the Harry. I don't want to pause it, but Harry's yeah. story real quick. 21. Super talented kid. I see him at Alphaland. He like, I see, I'm like, pull up your page. Let me see. Right. I'm like, yo, pull it up. Yeah. Okay. Now you guys are watching more Summer Shredding. I've already talked to him about that. This was a dope one, but more Harry story. So with Harry, super dope photos. I'm like, let me get your contact. I never do this. Never. There's never creative where I fucking, where I, 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 there's very rarely a creative where I'll, and he, I saw it just his, his angle is just the way his eye was very good. Um, and so we changed numbers, whatever, three months go by or something. And I finally message him and I'm like, uh, Harry and, and uh, Hey bro, is it possible? Um, it's like, I need in a few hours. Can, can we, can we link up or am I, I think it was like a day notice. It was like a decent amount of, it was like at least 10 to 12 hours. Yeah. Notice, but he didn't respond to me. It, it, it was to shoot Jer like a collab, like Jeremy Wendy or something. It was to shoot something really important. And, uh, and, and he just didn't respond. And he ended up pulling an all-nighter that night because he had like worked on a project and slept in. And uh, so then he missed a chance for like months. Um, but then, I, I can't remember even. And then you were like, yo, this is one guy. Oh, yeah. When Swan came on, I was like, okay, there's a talent here in Houston. Haven't got to work with him yet. A little flaky, but, <laughs> but, and then Harry's the least flaky person we've ever worked with and he's doing incredible. So. Summer starting Houston. 300 something competitors. My name is Jeff Nippert. Jeff in this Nippert. video, I'm going to be putting Christian Guzman for one of my most intense science-based full workouts. I'm excited about something with Jeff. I can't talk Come about on. it. I think I'm going to drop it, but I... Press oh. at the bottom and do one more. <laughs> Funny intro, bro. <laughs> so our, for our first exercise, we're gonna try to. This really is uh, this is the movement I've actually been doing, like in my last vlog and the last vlog I've been talking about was that one, that clip. Uh, uh, then peak week, damn, bro, we traveled so much. The fuck? Uh, uh, we're eight days out. That was a cool shot. Ghost headquarters again, working on some stuff that you guys don't know about. High level meeting stuff. Damn, you see that fit though? Those Bottega pants and the fucking hoodie. This was a really cool trip. Chicago is a, that's an amazing city. That is an amazing city. I was like, I, I love it. You know, I felt really at peace this prep. Like, damn, I look good.
Yo, that was polished. Uh, Ozzy with the dripping. Oh, Ozzy. Oz. <laughs> you did that one? Oh, you told me Oz did this one. That, that, that was dope. Oh, that was the video from the edit. My bad. That, that was dope, Juan. <laughs> Jay motherfucking Cutler. Five days out. See my arm? That was so lean. Five. How many? Pray for both of us. Five days out. God, we traveled so much. Damn, the fit, bro. This is why it takes so long to get anywhere. Five days out. I take long, but I'm worth it. <laughs> you know, guys, like, I was really fucking, like, I feel like, I, I mean, Juan could probably speak on this so much more, but I feel my demeanor during prep, my demeanor doesn't change. Like, I'm a very, I don't, let anything really affect like affect my my energy i feel like so, and i feel really like once i got through the very beginning of that prep which was just getting the videos moving right things kind of and things in motion like i was very Officially present in this prep i feel like to las vegas nevada and i looked fucking fly i had some good fits man and jay motherfucking cutler Training with him three days out. And then quarter turn. <laughs> it's so dope, bro. Out? You see that Christmas tree right there? Can you see it? See that? Jay Cutler, tell me if I got a Christmas tree. Once you get a little food in there, bro. Look at my back. Look at the now, bar question right. for you. On the lat opening up, when you kind of do a little bit of roll forward, like that. You don't want it, but you don't want to lose your lats. You see how you look in the back. Yeah, okay. There? So, yeah, just, yes. Chest up, good. Yes, good. See how, adjust, see how you're adjusting that? This is just, uh, yeah, just make sure you're square. Good. Look at this. What the fuck? Wait for the, wait for the shave, man. You look, you look, I know you're ready. Today we got somebody Ooh. here that we're about to, we're about to train Flex with. Flex uh, Lewis. With. I know, I think I'm going to make up the, uh, the energy today. I dude. think you'll be. I'm literally. I'm like, I this felt, camera's bro, like, I remember feeling right great. <laughs> oh, no. See, it's like, man, in life, you always remember the highs, you never remember the lows. It's like, pre it's like, oh, this looks great to me. I don't remember any suffering. But then, like, I now I, I do remember not feeling so hot. And right behind this camera, right now, we have obligations or opportunities. Both, <laughs> I guess, right? With all your guys here. Mm. So this is for my second show, first show. Could have been leaner. My back. Pretty short. I need some more development. I need more development of my back in order in, with the same leanness for the for what I need to succeed. Good. Bro. I had a quick question, man. How for getting my feet elevated and stuff like. I just wanted to show Chris how shredded I was. <laughs> I know, bro. Look, I'm like, Chris, look how much. Uh, hey, I need to hold my own, bro. You know? Okay. Damn, look how chubby his cheeks are. Well, my, my toes go like pink and purple, bro. So, like, yeah, my, my hands will go like you know, kind of numb sometimes. I feel like I should definitely do it. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Woo! Bro, I look sharp. I'm like, hey, Mr. Olympia, I, I'm as shredded as you can get, bitch. <laughs> you made that in four weeks? Yeah. What manufacturers are we y'all using, bro? <laughs> Damn. Oh, I love the blue. Oh, the jacket. Kevin and Sonny, um, men's fashion designers, they made this custom jacket by a seven casar in their yeah. brand um their high-end fashion brand made this jacket for me um bro that's a real for my prep for my show day Woo! oh so sick god i was here to stay mm. damn you see that shot isn't it wild like 
right, even right now, only a better physique is under this. Wow. Should we bring this intro back? This should be the intro to, the, to, to our YouTube. This is YouTube. What do y'all think? Comment down below. Guzman. Not Guzman. It's Christian Guzman. Ugly ass feet. This is the day I was getting um, posing help from Joey. We'll put his Instagram here on the screen. Because this posing session dramatically changed my presentation. Fuck, I look good. Yes, dude. All I saw there was what I need to work on on my back. I'm like, got my traps are overpowering. Look how calm, look how, that, like, that was smooth. Damn. That's Jeremy yelling. Jeremy Medea fucking yelling. Passed out. Juan passed out. Out. <laughs> Took home fifth place at this one. God damn it, this is lighting the fire back up. Cheers, 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 cheers. Goodbye, video show day. Thank you so much. Thank you to this team. We love y'all. Peace. Cheers. I just love challenging myself, bro. Mm. Woo! Show day! I'm chicken and rice every day. <laughs> Woo! God, the, I'm, this is the year I really feel like I grew a family of a family of friends, honestly. Watch the comparisons because I've been waiting to do it with you guys. I, I feel the series is again with the watch. I look fucking sick. I was backstage. He was deathly sick on my face enough for the help that he was able to provide. And just like, I'm telling you, man, even I get, I, I get so stressed on these show days still. It's like, no matter how many times you do it, it's still like, you got to peak that sh it's That's you got to so peak dope. properly there's so many things you're but I look good to do and it's you're trying to remain calm and it's oh my arms a different eye. wow so I look really confident um look like, at the like, custom like, shorts that Sonny and, and Kevin kind of got that me. like a lot that my confidence was there I was smiling look good and god this posing this routine this look is absolutely light years better than any other year like confidence wise stage presence presence wise just all of it was so much better this is me versus the first place guy like that guy got a pro card popping out the right hand here you're able you're able to see yeah he's yeah he looks, he's, yeah he looks fucking great wait but, but my point is like i'm not that far off Eight thousand. Uh, Eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. But that's with your basketball court, which is probably at least yeah, ten thousand. <laughs> the brother probably listening like, what? The this fuck? house is a perfect representation of everything we're not gonna do for our house now. Honestly, I'm happy we went to go look at something like this because it, 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 you know, it reminded me of that. Something like this is more, this is a 2.2 .2 acre lot. We do want acreage because we want land, but 2.2 .2 is not really enough land for how much we want. So that we can turn that other room into? Yeah, yes. And your shoes? Sure. Let's go, come on, right now. <laughs> where, where are you going? You gotta leave or what? Babe! <laughs> huh? I'm rushing my what? keys. What? Let's do it, come on. We got time. You're missing a step. What? You're missing a step. Yeah. Your earrings? 
<laughs> First Five day. years ago. Oh, did she have a ring? As the CMO. <laughs> Oh, I'm like, little do you know. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Yeah, it's not good. That's what we're Oh, we are on the late, brother. International Passport. flight. Airport's an hour away what? on a good day. and um, Oh. Flight's at 12. Eat. It's currently almost 10. Or, oh. Oh, we get to it's oh, well, I'm glad we could. Oh, that, that's why, bro. That's why I was. So, oh, oh, because Heidi couldn't go to Toronto because her passport. She was like a day or two behind, so I had to travel. Heidi not being by my side that deep into prep for a day or two ended up me like gaining like seven to eight pounds of water weight from eat like poor choices of like like. <laughs> <laughs> And then from there, and then from there, uh, but then when she got there, she got her password in a day. Who the hell can get their password in a day? No one but my fucking feet, wife, Heidi, who nobody can get their password in one day, but she did. That's why she owns Buff Bunny and Grounds. Oh, another sick fit. Oh, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Pure muscle and fitness. Here. Fun fact. Wow. We are going to be collaborating with them. We're like for summer shredding in uh, this year, 2024, when we're going to Toronto again. Uh, I, I'll put the schedule of the whole year for 2024 now. You can get your tickets um, very soon on summer shredding website. Uh, but we're gonna uh, Pure Muscle and Fitness will be the main sponsor for it. So yeah, we would I don't know, we'll do the other, but we'll do some dope shit. And I don't want to do this song ever again. I don't think to, I. I do not think. I know I don't need 24 weeks. I've traveled more than I've ever traveled in my entire life during this prep. From Tampa summer shredding to to Dublin to Ireland to the UK to just at Florida like multiple times. Just so much traveling. Canada like, <laughs> and we did that shit during prep while running multiple businesses while doing everything that we do and uploading for majority of the time every other day. That's what we fucking did. When you're gone, till my brain goes up, like the Was it tough? Fuck yeah. Stuck in place, paralyzed, fucking do it all over again. When you're gone, gone. Wait, but it just so bad my neck look, like the back of my neck look. Second show. After getting fifth at the first show, I was like, fuck this, I'm going again. Sign me up, right? I didn't just die at 20 weeks to get fifth place. Well, to be fair, I wanted to, if I'm being on, very honest with myself, I wanted to do the second show. Yeah, let's go, we celebrated. No, like I've hit so like I seven times. wanted to see if the I first one was a fluke because yeah. I didn't believe I was going to get like YouTube top like, ten. Then all of a sudden they'll take away. Like, I I, I didn't stuff. think so. And so when I got fifth, I was like, I kind of low key kind of felt like I need to let me go again. And and hoping I would place higher, but also kind of hoping that I would be able to place top five, right? The fear of that. So that was why I did a second show. One eighty. And I don't want to talk too much on the show because I know the video is getting long. This is, man, my hair not really good here. Um, but the only thing that's different is like the amount I'm sweating because of the change of my environment and the amount of food I'm taking, which is like way lower than normal. It's like, yeah, I want to be like, oh my God, it's crazy that I was overreacting. But you know what? In the moment when that's the fucking goal, that's what matters. Period. Like, it's not a, oh my God, I was crazy. Like, no. I was like, giving my all to a competition that I decided to commit myself to. And look at me, damn. I let it go too hard. Cause then I like, I lost, I lost it for a bit. I lost like the, the fluidity. This is a focused athlete to me. This is what I see. And I'm still recovering. I haven't been a good boyfriend in a while, so I'm, I want to go. <laughs> but I feel like you're gonna buy stuff. For sure. I was yeah. definitely leaner on the second show. He's gonna be a good boyfriend, buy me gifts. <laughs> 
And we had a photo shoot like one day out. Can we insert the photos now? Boom, 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 boom. Heidi's missing, Jenny's missing, but that crew right there. Family. And Alex, Juan's out here. That's my family. And my parents are coming tomorrow. Bro, my hair looks bad. Look how good it looks now. Have, have this team. This fucking unit. This fucking unit. The biggest change of this year was like at these shows, I really felt like in 2022, I felt I had a family that was like Nabil, my parents, Heidi, and Alex. But like this year, I really felt my team. And they would be there if I wasn't paying them also. What does that mean? We right, like that's that's, what, that's what I had I gained this year. Phase one, YouTube, done. Look how jacked I look, bro. New YouTube yeah. channel. God damn. Live. First link in the description. This is a channel that's I should have done a pose. You should be like, bro, do some posing. You should be like take take your take off. <laughs> look at my arms. Okay, so there I was like, yo, I am making a new YouTube channel. And in retrospect, it has been the best decision of my life. But I do want to say, man, this is me putting, I was fucking dizzy here. I was suffering. It was hard prep. Enough talking about that. I'm going to talk about how this new YouTube channel. That was, I just talked to Mariah and um, wanted about this at dinner. But for, I hit a million subscribers June 2022. And for about three years prior to that, right? Um, three years prior, I had been at like 990. So I was really fluctuating between like 990 to, uh, um, shit, my dad just said, please call me. Hold on one sec. Oh my God. Oh, oh, that's your computer. Oh, oh my God, bro. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but yeah, new, this is my second show you guys are seeing. I'm just going to let this play. Um, my obliques to app connection got better on this one. This new YouTube channel, like, I, I don't know. I, I feel weird saying, oh, best decision of my life starting this new YouTube channel. Because like my other YouTube channel, every piece of content has just as much of me in it. Um, it may, yeah, just, it, it's like these, those summer shredding videos were masterpieces in my mind. Um, especially like with the videography and the cinematography and all of that, like we really did some cool stuff, man. And we've really leveled up a lot of this game. There's so much more footage that we have that I haven't seen, uh, from the day. And I just want to like go watch it with you guys and sort of like commentate the whole show day experience from like my perspective. Uh, and I haven't seen like me against any other competitors. You know, one thing that wasn't in here, I just want to give a so quick uh, shout was the Jesse James uh, little speaking thing we did. That was really cool. Is a more, what, like what's the more competitive? Again, more show stuff. Was it this one, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh or was it Vegas? Oh, this, look at this part. Nah, whatever, oh, can't open it. Pause. Oh man, that makes me so mad. <laughs> Here we go. I'm doing it today. I'm not nervous. We had just slept like four hours. This was like day uh, one. She was like I'm ready to go to the pyramids. Yeah, here. Oh my god. <laughs> I can die before, so I can die. No, babe, I need you to die after me. Oh, I'd cry.
Yes. <laughs> I think looking at this now, it's like at this point in the year, you see me most at peace mentally. Wow. Like, even I think I was already at peace mentally at prep. Like during those shows, I was still like, like aggressive athlete competition mode, but I was like evolved mentally. I knew what was coming. I remember like winking at the camera, like back when I was backstage, like the real prize is coming soon. You know, just like already looking forward to this moment. So knowing big picture, like what matters is so important guys. Like giving it your all in a commitment that you make for me like a competition which i went and just went all in for but like you have even though you can be in that element in that zone being so enough like self-aware enough to realize that in the big picture of everything your fucking show doesn't matter you are nobody you are nothing the bigger picture like you have to you have responsibility and like you know what i mean it's you have to Give it your all with the big picture in mind. Does that make sense? Yeah, this is the Legion stuff. The Le we sponsored the Legion Sports Festival, but we're um, Chiron dethroned, quote unquote, even though it's not the Olympic, but dethroned Aaron Banks. Insane to witness. We paid 30K to bring awareness to the fact that we on stage holding that trophy, I was like, holy shit, holy shit. Holy, like, I felt... Look how big I look. I felt those, like, that, those, like, the jitters, just like, if I were on stage, you know, I felt the same thing. It was wild. I'm so invested. Yeah. I love this sport. Um, here till the end, literally. <laughs> but, yeah, it, man, Hiron just fucking took it. A lot of people gave it a lot of props for that, for sponsoring. Because we, we, we need to bring awareness to the fact that, like, these athletes aren't getting paid enough. And just like, I believe Whoa. some sports, don't, some di leagues, divisions don't pay. Like, we want to pay our athletes wow. correct in the SSC. And it, athletes in general deserve great, to be paid right? more. So, yeah. Heidi launching grounds. I'm so fucking proud of her. This has been, like, own, her... Right? her now, biggest project of the, the entire the year, year uh, or really the last two years, she, she's she's been like hustling, working on it behind the scenes, but, and uh, so that's been a position I've been it's like doing really, incredible. really with my HR team with, with Chelsea. Like we have been looking and prioritizing that position. This is when I finally had a successful interview with Nick, right, guys, the new Alfland GM, um, who's doing yeah, phenomenal, um, which happened I believe in October. Launching my documentary, the premiering it at the movie theater, another incredible moment, which is so surreal. Um, I'm still thinking about Joe, bro. Oh. A lot of times it takes like the second and third watching to kind of like really settle in. Especially like when you look how tight my watch is on my hand because of how bloated I am, bro. Like literally, that was peak inflamed of like or filled up from like all the. Ooh, those summer shredding rings. Whoa. I'm going to post a photo of our two champions from the 2023 summer shredding right here on the screen so you guys can see who took home these rings. I haven't got mine. I had Ashley make me one, but she's probably keeping it for herself. Oh, I love it. Today, you love how the, the ring Julie matches Julie my Julie. summer shredding colors, or Just the watch, Julie my Rolex, has the same summer shredding blue. The summer shredding God, look at my fat face. Champions. They're gonna receive the rings. They're gonna oh receive my them. God, I'm getting swallowed. My mouth is getting swallowed by my cheeks. You can hardly see my teeth, bro. I can't breathe, I look like a fucking fat cholo. All of those receive, I don't think I'm forgetting any, it could be, just heads up, but all of those receive the title of overall winner of 2023 of their division, but only two champions out of those eight winners will be selected oh, to win and earn the title. 
Cup champion. She been like, zoom the lens out, bro. <laughs> Make it lens. Men's summer shredding champion goes to number four. Congratulations, bro. This time it's spread your voice. Worry yeah, this year for Summer Shredding right, was how we were going to execute the finals. Okay. Enjoy um, when I had 18. Which is, a, I think, a unique reaction to that clip, but I think it's something that I am, I'm giving it a lot. I, I mean, I'm so. It went. It, it turned out to be so successful because what we have everybody do, all the competitors that compete in the championship at the end of the year, they're required to make a. Uh, I believe 90 second or two minute video um, that plays on stage. If you're qualified to like win the whole entire thing, that's when we're watching the top eight people's videos to decide our two champions. So like um, the winner of men's bodybuilding, the, who wins all the whole entire division has a video, the winner of bikini, wellness, uh, physique, transformation, they all have created videos. So at the end we have the eight like class winners that win $10,000 a piece, and then we're playing their video that's like, who, tell us your story, your base obstacle, like they all have the questions that they're answering. And then the judges, we all like come together and we decide like which one do we want to win? And we're not afraid to say like we are judging that based off of our feel, based off of how we respond to the videos and how we connect with the individuals that we are looking at in their journey and how we want them to represent the Summer Shredding League. Um, and it's very rare. It's a very, we only have two winners per year. We will only have two winners per year, two champions per year. And not just the money, but there's so much on the line to take this, uh, something like a show and create your career and your life and create something bigger than just a card. So that's what the, the league is to me. I'm just really you know, not even. I had like 14 to 18K subscribers. I was confident in leaving school. I was ready to leave because I was making about 30 to 40K a month. <laughs> With 14,000 subs? What was it? What, ad revenue? Uh, that, that was strictly <laughs> plans, bro. Down, 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 down. Oh, Explode up. <laughs> you good? Yeah, something just like, oh, twinge. Oh, never felt that before. A pop? Well, we got soon, bro. Yeah, Man, my legs were fat. <laughs> okay, you ready for this watch? Oh, that, that, okay, that's crazy. That is crazy. It's like a little robot. doesn't even know. Oh, give him Chris's gift. I still, god damn it. I got the, his, we have a patch. So you guys notice how there's an empty so slot the black on his right sleeve? Because we have his like fifth, the 50s, fourth, 60s, third, really was no second, and then we had a, a space for his like fifth win. And so we have a patch already made. And we were going to put it in Courtney's jacket. Like kind of um, and so when he won, she was going to give it to him. But I ended up and I think not like that's being able what, to fucking make it. At this point in my life, like that's what so friendships, I had like patch. real friendships so I just need to, next to my CM, are going to be. Because like the older you get, guys... But we made it's um, hard these custom jackets again with no, SK, like for um, me seven cash round, the fashion brand that my men's fashion designers have. Me, like, have uh, like, we collaborated Christian, with them and Alphalete to you have your gift him you don't pay. this jacket and also for his that team. That really like stumps me. Chris, because Courtney, and Calvin, had, they um, are friends of mine, and like I don't have many friends. Like I am on, and when I say stuff, I mean testosterone. Ooh. Yeah. Just Still feels weird hearing thing that. I'm putting in there. Just recently, but like the amount of testosterone that I've been doing for Christ. the last few years has been constant, has been steady, and I've been I very, very that. like subtle with it, and I didn't Back introduce it into my body. <laughs> but that's in the past. <laughs> Ten plus years. Think about that. Not a lot of people can say that. <laughs> How are you? Oh man, bro, we got a ton of stuff here. For... It's cool like when you see support yeah. early in the year and then you see it kind of come full circle like later. God damn, it looks good.
I'm over here in the same video, like comparing my like, God, I have what it takes. Look at this dude, bro. <laughs> I'm over here with Mr. Olympia, Mr. Olympia. I'm over here like, yeah, that's nuts. Look, yeah, I didn't want to ask him. I was like, what the fuck is on your back? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, when Derek won, I was so hyped, man. Was so hyped. Whenever Derek, like his back really started filling in, like he was, it was, it's almost like he was getting more and more like cut and defined when he was uh, doing his back shot and he kept like, that's how he beat Hottie was the back shot. Um, oh, it was, so, it was so hyped, so electric. And Chris won, and Ryan won. And I've always been a Ryan Terry fan. Um, huge Ryan Terry fan. Really good to see him. All the drama with uh, Mimsy Zeke and Wow. You can't hate. Hard fucking work and humble That's good to see right there. That just proves it. Oh, my friends won, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Chris's speech made me fucking emotional, man. It was, it was so good. And the motherfucker didn't tell me he tore his lap. I was pissed. And he didn't tell me Courtney was pregnant. But you know what? Whenever I was there delivering the jackets, he was standing there. And, and he was, when I was talking to him, he was, he was kind of looking at me kind of weird. Like, you know when you, when you have a secret with someone and like, it's like, I want to tell you. But I was, but I'm like, why are you cutting? <laughs> Hey, he's on prep. He's about to do a show. <laughs> he's probably fucked up. <laughs> but uh, no, like, but yeah, they're having a girl, man. So it's super exciting. Out, like summer shredding and work on building out. Like the, this Olympia, know, like, it's so such inspiration. For, I'm like, inspired. I'm inspired is the right word. Everything. I love that, man. This is why I'm doing incline dumbbells. Let it go. The low key, I... Easy, I've been doing that 275 for like 10. Yeah, so. yeah Firehouse. Mm -hmm. Firehouse. Traders, uh, uh, Heroes Collectibles. Heroes Collectibles. This uh, ignited my new hobby, collecting the 151 collection. I'm also collecting all of the 90s holographics. So anything from the original sets, even like the second generation originals, I'm collecting officially. <laughs> what? So fun. My family's getting so much closer too. Um, Wait, like with Heidi and everything coming more, and woo, big boy. She says, Son, you're gonna die for sure. Low key though, I think this day, this the day I squatted here, um, I did 365 for eight, and I think that's gonna be <laughs> the last time I squat. <laughs> like I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take that as like my, um, my, my stamp of squat. Um, performance and uh, I'm just gonna call it because I'm moving on to the Smith Machine squat. I like it way better. So, um, yeah, December we did a tour of Alphaland in 2023, and for the rest of the December we went to Alaska. And you guys have been watching those eight vlogs. Um, I really opened up to you guys about about um, just. So check it. We've got my new kind of goal, here. focusing on health, there's not so much like on just I need to get my, my health straight and, you know, wanting to have kids and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, we just enjoyed a really good trip in Alaska. My parents came uh, for a few days. We signed the papers that officially legally got us married. Um, and so I feel like we should actually, this is a perfect time to end the video, the 2023 video with um, the video that we got from the video guys there um, to kind of show you guys like we're ending that this 2023 on this note, which is like the highest note um, I've ever had in my life. So I attribute all of that to the people around me and also to myself for growing the balls to kind of, you know, stand up for myself in relationships and put my foot down where I need to. And, uh, uncomfortable situations like professionally and stuff and cut ties with you know anything kind of holding back the bigger vision and just really like stay focused on the vision um and focused on being like a good person and making 
in consciously just trying to make good decisions to like be make decisions that a future me would be proud of myself for making. Um, like that's how I try to approach every interaction that I have. Um, and by living by a code and by living by that code, I'm saying that because I'm watching Dexter now. Um, <laughs> but I, I think by living with that kind of mentality of just do something that your future self will thank you for, like, or be proud of you for, which that should be the quote. Um, that should be the quote because if we live with that mentality, we will make decisions that we know in our heart are the right ones. And I think uh, I'm learning a lot this year and opening up a lot this year because not because I feel a need to, not because I feel like I need to be talking to you guys more openly and pouring my heart out to get views or something, but um, doing it because I'm realizing the more I do it, the more I'm analyzing my actions and how, and I'm, I'm elevating, I'm just getting like fucking smarter <laughs> with this shit. Like I'm understanding myself better and it's making my life that much more rich. And uh, so I'm gonna keep doing it and diving in and kind of um, exploring what that leads to. But with that, enjoy this little video and we'll see you in the next one. Why?